Mapping in QGIS, creating a map layout, part three, adding and working with map frames in the layout. In this part three video, we will explore adding and working with a second map in our map layout. A second data frame or an inset map can provide your map reader with added contextual information. A second map can be added to your layout in the same way in which you would add a map to your layout. Adding a map to the layout. Once you have your map layout open, click on the Add Map icon in the side menu bar. Hovering over your map, you will see crosshairs appear. Click and drag to create the desired shape and size of your inset map. If you need to edit the shape and size, click and drag the white boxes to enlarge or shrink your map. If you need to change the placement of your inset map, Click and drag the map to your desired area. Changing the extent of your map. If you want to change the extent of your map, select the Move Item Content icon. You can use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in or out. If you would like to set the extent to a specific scale, select the Item Properties tab in the bottom right corner and change the number beside scale. Increasing the number will zoom out of your map, while decreasing it will zoom in. Once you are happy with the extent, select the Move Item icon. Working with your map frame. As you can see, it is unclear where the inset map starts and stops. In the Item Properties window, scroll down and check the box next to Frame. This will add a border to your inset map. You can also change the color or thickness of the border by clicking on the drop-down bar next to color and increasing the millimeter for thickness respectively. Adding an overview. If you would like to highlight the area of your main map in your inset map, select your inset map. Click on the item properties tab and scroll down to overview. Select the add a new overview icon. Next to map frame, use the drop-down arrow to select your main map. You can change the frame style by clicking on the current symbol and changing the color, opacity, and project style. Symbology in multiple data frames. Perhaps you would like to display different data layers in each map frame. In this example, we will change the layers that appear in map 2. From within the items panel, locate your main map and check the box to lock the map. Next. Select the Item Properties tab and expand Layers. Check the box next to Lock Layers and Lock Styles for Layers. Next, let's return to your project window to change the symbology. Unselect or change the layers you don't want to appear in your map frame. Return to the Print Layout window to view the changes. You have now created one map layout with two data frames. For more information on QGIS, visit the UTM Library QGIS playlist.